All gunships carry four types of weapons. Cannon, though short-ranged, are useful against all but the heaviest armor. Unguided rockets are very useful against infantry, bunkers, buildings, and light vehicles. Most gunships carry several types of rockets, including high explosive, anti-tank bomblets, flechette, and white phosphorus smoke rockets. Anti-tank guided missiles, or ATGMs, are the main punch of any gunship. They will kill any ground target, but should be saved for heavy armor or mission critical targets. They are precision guided and long ranged. Air to air missiles, AAMs, are carried in limited numbers and can only be used against other helicopters and jets. The IHADS provides all the information you need to engage targets. The current selected weapon is shown at the lower right. The laser range to the current lock target is shown on the lower left. The small triangle below the heading scale shows the direction the gunner is looking. This turns red when a target is locked. Steer towards this marker to bring the target in view and into the weapon arc. The locked target will have a red box over it. There is also an aiming reticle for each weapon type. The cannon uses a small crosshair. The rockets use an I-beam. The anti-tank missiles use the gunner's target box, and the air-to-air -air missiles use a small diamond. In line of sight, or LOS mode, weapons are aimed at what you are currently looking at. The cannon can fire at any target in your field of view, but the rockets are limited to a small forward-facing cone. You can move your sight independently of the helicopter's flight path using the hat switch, or by holding down the number two joystick button and using the joystick to move your point of view. When using the joystick, the helicopter obeys your last flight commands. During this time, the weapon reticle stays in the center of your view. Shoot at targets by moving the reticle over the target and squeezing the trigger. In the pilot's cockpit, press the I key to use your helmet-mounted sight. You will notice the cockpit becomes translucent. Press it again and the cockpit goes away. A third time, and the sight is turned off. Using the sight allows you to zoom in and out and to use your thermal sight. In TADS mode, weapons are aimed by the gunner and will fire at his locked target. When a target is locked, the gunner's sight indicator will turn red and a lockbox will appear over the target with the reticle inside. You can change this target using the J and K keys, or you can center your view on another target and press L to lock that target. Select the type of weapon and maneuver the helicopter until the lockbox is solid, then squeeze the trigger. Anti-tank missiles can fire only in TADS mode. Once your mission starts, select which cockpit you will fly from using either the F1 key for the pilot's cockpit or the F4 key to fly from behind the helicopter. You will receive instructions from your instructor during the flight. Once you have completed the given task and are ready for the next instruction, press the Shift-C key. To repeat the last command, press the Shift-D key. All right, pilot. Weapons are hot. Fly towards waypoint number one. Stay as low as you can and keep your speed between 50 and 100 knots. Once there, put the helo into a hover near the waypoint. Once you have arrived, press the Shift-C key for further instructions. To repeat an instruction, press the Shift-D key.
There should be six infantry fighting vehicles about 1,000 meters to the west-southwest. Select cannon using the F5. Targeting tank. The cannon will start in LOS mode. Use the hat or number two joystick button to place the reticle over one of the targets Selecting and pull the trigger. Gun. Use the zoom functions as needed. Kill three of the vehicles and ask for further instruction. I want you to take out the remaining vehicles using TADS mode. Press the B key. You will see the reticle either jump to the gunner's target or begin to sweep across the screen. If the gunner has not locked on one of the three remaining vehicles, place one under the center of your view and press the L key. Once a target is locked, squeeze the trigger. The gunner will look for the next target. Engage the remaining IFB and ask for further instruction. Target destroyed. Targeting tank, unable. Target destroyed. Targeting tank. Fly towards the next waypoint. Stay as low as you can, keep your speed between 50 and 100 knots. As you near the waypoint, slow to a hover and ask for further instructions. There should be several trucks and supply tents to the north. Select rockets using the F6 key. Selecting the rockets will rocket. start in TADS mode since that was your last choice. Use a combination of LOS and TADS mode to kill all of the vehicles and tents using rockets. When finished, ask for further instructions. Selecting rockets. Targeting vehicle. Selecting rocket. Target destroyed. Targeting vehicle. Target destroyed. 
Targeting vehicle. Selecting rocket. Targeting vehicle. Selecting rocket. Selecting rocket. Target destroyed. Targeting vehicle. Target destroyed. Stopping. There should be six tanks to the south at three to four kilometers. Select anti-tank missiles using the F-7 gate. The gunner will lock one of the targets. Turn toward the target until the lockbox is solid. Fire the missile. Notice that the gunner must keep the target locked and visible until the missile hits. Use missiles to kill the remaining tanks. If you run out of missiles, feel free to close and practice using other weapons. When finished, ask for further instructions. Selecting missile. Targeting tank. Targeting tank. Target destroyed. 
destroyed. Targeting tank. Coming down. Coming down. Coming down. Good mission. You can return to base, or go ahead and exit the game with the shift Q key. Turning left. Speeding up. Coming down. Six. Continue mission out. 